very much looking forward to uh, Royal Ascot next week, uh, starting on the Tuesday there. Um, we have a smaller team this year, but hopefully a, a nice select team. Um, you know, Tuesday, like I say, we're kicking off in the, in the Coventry uh, with two Colts there in um, Symbol of Honour, uh, who uh, obviously was very green first off at Newmarket, um, but uh, came forward nicely there to go and win well at Lingfield. Uh, and then we have another horse there in Alcudra, uh, who's had his three starts there. First two are at Newmarket, and then uh, he went and uh, won well on his last uh, start there as well. He takes a nice bit of experience into it, into the race there with, with three runs. I feel that uh, the stiff six will, will suit him as well. Uh, and Symbol of Honour, like I say, after his two starts, he improved so much from first to second run, and we feel he's come forward again. So we're a bit of luck there's two competitive runners there. Uh, obviously that will be then uh, leading us on to what is billed to be potentially the race of the week in the St James's Palace. Notable speech, the English Guineas winner will be there to take on uh, the Irish Guinea there in Rosalian, who obviously as we know by Blue Point, so we're always going to be wary of him. Hey, he's, a, he's already a, you know, a Group 1 and a classic winner, but um, being uh, the son of uh, Blue Point and we know what uh, he could always bring to Ascot was his favourite favorite track, so um, fully respect him. Uh, and also obviously now being joined by the French Guineas winner, so uh, it's going to be a, a fascinating race. Um, but we're very pleased with our horse, the way he's going into it. He's ticked every box and um, I say it's built to be the race of the week and let's hope it is that um, we're, we're very much there with a horse that uh, is in great order. Then we move on to uh, Thursday there uh, with Diamond Rain uh, to run in the Ribblesdale. Um, she's had her two starts, uh, obviously winning at Ascot, so she's you know, got that experience behind her and then winning uh, very nicely at Newbury there on a second start. Uh, we feel the step up in triple should hopefully suit her again. And uh, yeah, again, we feel that she's going to be a very competitive runner. Uh, we then move to uh, Friday there in the, uh, the coronation. Um, we have Devoted Queen, uh, who's uh, you know, an unbeaten uh, filly there, um, winning on her last start there at listed level. She's got to improve again, but we feel that she has shown that. She's strengthened, um, and again, she She's pleased as in all of her homework to date, so goes there as I feel as, as a live player, but has to improve. And then we also then have the Albany there in a, a mountain breeze. Uh, obviously, as you know, a half sister to uh, Pinatubo. Um, she's a two from two at Newmarket. Um, was more impressive, I felt, on her second start there when she stepped up to the six. Um, and uh, she goes there as a live player. You know, again, it's, it's built to be a, a competitive race as it always it is going to be. Uh, at this stage of the season at Ascot, but um, she's, a, she's a filly that we've, uh, we've been very pleased with since the spring and she's not, uh, she's not disappointed us to date, to date. Then that leads us on to, uh, to Saturday, there where we have the, the two runners there. Um, in the Cheshire, we have uh, a, a once run uh, colt there, uh, Age of Gold, who uh, won very well at, uh, at Yarmouth over the six. Uh, I feel that step up to seven was going to suit him. Um, so again, hopefully there's a live player. Um, and then uh, the last runner of the, uh, the meet will be um, Romantic Style, who uh, again we saw there you know, running a, a very solid race there in the French Guineas, uh, had a wide draw that day um, and, and came there to win a race and it probably just paid the, the draw and the quicker, the quicker ground. But um, dropping back to the seven there in the jersey, um, I feel that the, the stiff seven there and hopefully a, a decent bit of ground uh, will uh, bring her back into contention as, as being a live player.